executive session. One of the things that I'm going to do is you're going to see an increase this spring. I am going to go to three or four dispatch trainings okay. and stuff just to catch up on stuff. I try to go to the APCO every other year to try to stay up. I'm going to go to the admin day and some other things, but there's three or four I'm going to go in because I've let my certificates expire and a lot of things too. So you will see me go into three or four trainings this spring. I just want you guys to be aware. Okay. It's to catch up to get caught up on what's going on. So They're probably in, like in Wheeler? Uh, there's one in Las Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> one in, no, just kidding. <laughs> they're all, they're all they're Wheeler. <laughs> They're all in the state of Kansas. I think the furthest one, I believe the furthest one is in Manhattan. All right. So uh, there will be one in Salina as well. But uh, but I just wanted you guys to be aware as you see that, all of a sudden, boom, Cody went to three or four. It's because I, I need to play catch up on what's, what's going on. So Thank you. Right. Cody, thank you for everything. Yep. Have a great, good weekend. Mm -hmm. yep. All right, Eddie, you're up. <coughs> I completely good morning, everybody. Good morning. I completely spaced the meeting last night. That's okay. <laughs> so I'm here to ask uh, to get a check for the down payment on the flooring that they're doing up there now. For have you seen those numbers this morning? Deposit due was twenty-five thousand nine thirty-seven and fifteen cents. What's the total project? Forty thousand six zero three fifty-two. And they will finish that tomorrow, and so uh, at the next meeting, I'd like to have you approve the balance due, which would be fourteen thousand six thirty and thirty seven cents at the next meeting, or however soon it can be done. Fourteen thousand six thirty and what? I didn't get the cents either. Thirty seven cents on balance due. So what you need now is the down payment. It's the deposit of twenty five nine thirty seven fifty. First, you have to approve the project. And then approve the amount. And I really thought I'd visit with you about it. This has been a four month project. I really thought I'd visit with you okay. back at that point. But who is the who's the company? It's top knot. Top knot. Floors LLC. He uh, bought out Brandon Terry's business. Brandon Terry grew up here, and he lives north of town. Mm -hmm. and, uh, so uh, they're doing a really nice job. Can I show? And uh, yeah, you can look at all my scratches. And if you would send them uh, sales tax exemption, I think I've got one done. Okay. I'm not 100% positive, but I think it is. Uh, I'd make a motion we approve the project. <laughs> 423, 228.59. Second. It's been moved and seconded to approve uh, to have top knot floors do the floors at the uh, Center. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed signify. What number did you just say? Okay, there. And then you need a motion for the $25,937.15. Motion nice moved. No second. It's been moved and uh, seconded to do the deposit of twenty five nine thirty seven fifteen. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed. Signify. Thank you. So uh, you can't approve that other payment. Today I'll have to come back for that final to balance due for well, four. It's approved. Dude. It's approved. Okay. So, so I can get a check for that at the next meeting, or, yeah. or I guess she needs to mail that one. Yeah, I think we did talk about the flooring project, but I don't did. know. I don't, know I don't remember if we saw figures or not at the time, or if we just talked about it. I don't know. I don't either. I mean, I know I brought this sheet with me, but I don't. But anyway, we're caught up again. See, when these things have such a long tail, it shouldn't be. Because then pretty soon, well, what did you do? Right. Speaking <coughs> of long tails, 
got another one for you. <laughs> I've got a guy working on that west entrance, and part of those funds were approved in December of 2019. Now that's a long tail. That makes this one look current. <laughs> so uh, I'm not sure how that'll shake out. Part of it'll be under the $1,500 or less part of it. Part of it will be out of that uh, bid from 2019 that Brock was going to do. And uh, three months ago, I had a guy that was going to do part of it. He worked there three hours and I haven't seen him since. And, uh, <laughs> so I have Alonzo Perez doing it now. And uh, so uh, the original project project has grown because in that length of time, see there's, well, this needs done and this, you know. And while you have somebody on the ground, you kind of need to get some of this stuff done. So uh, anyway, we'll see how that shakes out. Okay. But it does, it is looking nice. I mean, that's been kind of a disgrace not to be able to get that. Yeah cleaned up and looking nice. And then the city and the state redid the pothole, fishing hole down there by the curve. They did that Monday. The state furnished the material and the city did the work. The city done that? Did the work. State furnished the material. So what an ordeal that was. That's a nightmare wondering what they're going to do with the whole, the whole city there. Well, and I don't know what needs done with that street going to the airport. See, it's kind of needing resealed. Mm -hmm. It's not in my budget. So what are you saying? <laughs> <laughs> it's county airport. <laughs> They've added, they put a street sign at the south end of it for Denison Street, but the city informed me they didn't, that's not theirs. They just did that so FedEx has an address, a physical address. They can deliver stuff on that street. City limits don't go up there. Yeah, but that's, that is not a city street. The county owns all that. We own a, we own a street within the city. Cool. You own CCB. Yeah, you own a whole property. <laughs> Thank you. And the airport. <laughs> including the street to go through. So, so are we saying that we should look at doing that, resealing that? So we need to they, talk to Steve. I think Dave did it the last time. Yeah, I wouldn't even know if Steve knows it's part Probably of our oiling projects. I bet he did. I, no, I would assume he did. Nobody else does. Why would <laughs> <laughs> I mean, really? Because yeah. it seems five, six, I don't know how many years ago, I think they, they did some work on it. I mean, I'm thinking it's more than six, because I've been up there really regular for six years, and it hadn't been done in that, so it would have been ahead of that. I think it was before I was here. I think it's been. Maybe it's the first year I was in office. And there's another issue with here. more truck traffic on there now, Nutrien runs more volume through their system mm -hmm. and those trucks are hard on it. They don't come in for their to Well, the that was my understanding that they were supposed to, but by no, the vet clinic, right? Don't. That's that yeah. was my understanding the way it worked. I remember we talked about that a long time ago. Yeah, but uh, while I was talking to the city guys down there, because they were measuring, and so I went and talked to them and they said, well, they would plan on doing it. Well, that was on to me that we want that much truck, truck traffic in there. And, uh, well, wasn't the, there a road built somewhere for Yeah, by the vet yeah. clinic. That's what I thought, that we had done something they could come in Dr. Now. Judy Smith. Yeah. So, uh, anyway, Gardner said, well, part of the problem is trucks going in and out of here because those tandem axles, whether it's trailer or tandem truck, right. you know, they scoot on there. Well, a loaded truck had went in there earlier that morning, and while we were standing there talking, you know, from here to there to that pothole, why this truck, and you could just see 
that is because they're turning short yeah. right there where that potholes were. So that adds to it, and that's part of the reason the crossovers were so bad. Truck, no truck traffic. He's size. talking about the airport road going by the village. I don't remember on that. There was issues with the easement. I thought going through the vet clinic or the sale barn property. Wasn't that a concern? Because I know the county built the road from where Dr. Judy's house is up to Nutrien's hangar, but I thought there was debate on which way trucks needed to go in there at one point in time. And I think there was, but I think they were supposed to, because the county built like straight north mm -hmm. of that hangar, right. Nutrien. Right. Yep. Straight north is what the county did. Well, I think it was a matter of places. Because at one point in time, I think there, there was going to be like a road that was going to go along the private property of Dr. Judy right. on the east side along that fence line. And then that did not happen. And then that didn't happen. I remember that. And um, because KDOT is very protective right. in regards to the entrances. You cannot have it. You cannot. So that's the extent of what I remember. I think maybe that's where the issue was on which one. Mm -hmm. So I think at that point in time they were just going to go, well, I suppose Sale Barn owns part of that pathway up there and then angle across behind Judy's and go meet up with that road that the county put mm -hmm. in. So I don't know, but anyway. I mean, you know, these ceiling jobs need done, and pretty soon you've lost yeah. everything. Yeah, we'll talk to Steve. Okay. And you're getting ready to reseal some every year, probably. Yeah. I don't know how to what he's doing this year. So the parking lot also belongs to with that same project because it was all well, sealed I'm together. I'm sure. Last time. <laughs> yeah. All that behind the apartment and all that. Yeah. I need to get it all done. All right. Any other questions? Our senses have been better at the long term care. Okay. Some of those have been uh, rehab, so they've all been there, you know, like five, six, seven weeks. But you know, that's part of what we do. And, uh, cool. All right, if there's any other questions, if not, I'll. Thank you. Thank you, Eddie. Thank you, Eddie. Appreciate Thank it. you for taking care of my long tail. I'm going to grab my We'll get on in here. He's not here. We need some of those construction hazards. <laughs> well, that would be good to get all that done when they're doing, because they're going to go out that way by Bartlett's, is what I understood from the meeting with him. Run we could downstairs use... real quick. We'll gotcha. Wait. Gotcha. So what's all been going on? Prairie dogs. It's a lot more fun to shoot them. Yeah. Don wanted to do it. don't do a very good job. Yeah. Dave and Clarence Robertson jumped my ass by killing prairie dog. God oh, dang it, you're taking our sport away. Then pay us. <coughs> pay me and I'll raise all of you want. Yeah.
while we were waiting for Ron, Don wanted to talk about CIC quick. It should That's take fine. but a couple minutes. And then I got some pictures from Clayton this morning on the runway. We're going to need to do a little quick patching. Um, oh. I knew some of the tar was coming out when I was moving snow. But okay. It's Dave seen it was getting a little worse than we thought it was. So. Is that something we can do locally? I think so. Um, with all the FAA funding, I'm just a little concerned. Yeah, these aren't terrible. He's only got over five pictures, and he talked to Mark Hubert with spores about there's some stuff we can get that just goes in a regular caulking gun, and we just need to clean them out. And right, so we don't get any more. Mm -hmm. okay. Put it back in. So I would guess when it probably warms up a little bit, just take an air compressor up and blow them out, and just retard these. But are we taking a break? I we're waiting. Dawn Dawn had a quick something she wanted to say. So I guess I'll run it out to you. <laughs> hey, uh, out there at the pressure grounds, we're starting to get prairie dogs. Do we buy bait from you or how do we go about that? We can't sell any bait. No. But we get them over and treat them if I have time. Today's the last day we can do prairie dogs. Okay. Can, job this afternoon, but and then and then pull. We'll, are they prairie we'll dogs or gophers? Them. Huh? Are they prairie dogs or gophers? Because I have gophers bad at the fairgrounds. I don't know. They're making pretty big holes. Okay. I, I, I haven't seen them personally. Okay. But if you have time to look at them and then okay. uh, well, just go ahead and Hi. Uh, you can send us a bill or whatever you do. Yeah, we'll take a look at them and see what we need to do. Okay. So Thank you. You bet. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't know those prairie dogs. I don't know if you... I, didn't, I haven't seen them, but it makes some pretty big holes. Mm-hmm. The other ones make smaller holes, or? Well, like a gopher doesn't have a hole on top of the ground, just a dirt mound, typically. But it could be prairie dogs, it could be badgers. We have a terrible badger problem in the county. Uh -huh. Those things are digging up the ditches, and yeah. the guys that mow, they they don't have anything good to say about badger holes oh, when they hit them with a tractor. Yeah. Oof. They're, they're in the uh, south end of the parking lot, okay? Yeah. Do that and then look. sent me that one time and I never could. Yeah. I'll give him mine. I did try. Yeah. Those are yours. Okay. Good. Don't pass them down. It's not like in school. No. <laughs> There's one. Can you, can you pull them up or do you need it? Uh, you want me to just look these over and give yeah, them back? Yeah, just look them over. Um, we had received this one, the quote that you have from Tyler Technologies. That is for payroll AP minutes, and is there something receding? Cash receding. Cash receding for, that we had. And that quote is good until June 4th, I believe it says. And that's this this one for the yeah sixty seven thousand yeah is well thirty and sixty five for a total right. of ninety six okay the thirty thousand is what we would pay a year and the sixty five is the initial setup is the initial setup. And then if you look at the, oh, I gave you the wrong sheet there, where we go? That's good, I'm sorry. 
And then the CIC is what we're currently paying for everything. Is it 33000 Yes. Well, I wouldn't say everything. There's still uh, the, uh, I think it's 2500 for the, uh, what's it called? File server support? No, it's... But anyway, uh, um, we also know that CIC is going to be raising their prices. Right. People were. Oh, that's not part of that. No. How much is the people were? Twenty five A year or a week or a, a quarter? A year. Oh, that's nothing. Yeah. Um. We did receive a quote the other day for the oil, gas, and tax portion. Tax portion of it, and it's astronomical. It's yeah. And this is from Tyler. It's astronomical. Yes, that's the second Tyler packet that you got. Two. So it's a one-time fee of two thirty two hundred thirty-four thousand, with a recurring of sixty-five thousand. Maybe you didn't get the second packet of Tyler? No, no I did not oh. give it to him because yeah, I, probably okay. we're not course. really looking. Right. That it's so it's a hundred and sixty eight thousand dollars for the converted everything. Right. Because they're taking all of the parcels, all of the tax entities, all of I mean, it's mm -hmm. just it's a lot of data that they're having to convert over. So while it's an astronomical price, I don't think it's unreasonable. Obviously, we don't have it in the budget right. at this time, but I want you guys to have this number in the back of your head when it comes around to budget time because CIC is not working, and we're going to What is that number directly? Here. 168, yeah. Just for looking forward... If we're going to switch from CIC to anything, we're going to have a setup fee close to that. Whether we go with Tyler or we go with somebody else. Mm -hmm. um, right now, this Tyler program for taxes, some of it is phenomenal and some of it is not great. They're working on the not great part, so I'm hoping by next year they'll have the not great part up to par. And it'll be something that we can look into. Um, yeah, she was letting me get away. But just for future reference and for budgeting purposes, I, I wanted Scott to give you guys these numbers so that you can have them in the back of your head when okay. we're because we had a we had an NRP levy issue mm -hmm. and it took CIC two or three weeks to get Scott's end fix and then it took another four weeks for them to get my end fix. So for one support call it took seven weeks Dang. and I had another issue that took five weeks and I'm working on a distribution issue right now that I'm on to week two that they're still haven't got it fixed so their support is not great and I still would like to look into moving I understand that this is not in the cards for this year right um but I think we'd like to move forward with the other one works. Yes, the other one, yeah, because th that software program is phenomenal, and I think the numbers are doable for the county. So it's it's frustrating because I was hoping that these, these tax numbers would be a little bit. Yeah, we better yeah. fell over yesterday. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I can see why. But when you think about it, I mean. It is a lot of it data. Is a, it is a lot yeah. of data. Um, and I think, like I said, I don't think it's unreasonable. I think no matter what. Did you say their phone service isn't very good or whatever, Tyler? Or are you talking CIC? CIC. CIC. Okay. That, okay. That's where I'm having issues right now okay. with these support calls. We're paying I got you. for this support, and it's supposed to be 24 hours a day, and it's not. And, it's and I think scanning stuff. The image server there. Image server crashes with. at least once a week. For Genie's having trouble with it. Yeah. Stress has had trouble with it. Melville's had trouble with it. Yeah. It's just. It's, just, it's not good. We it's, we need to continue looking and budgeting for getting rid of CIC. 
and we have some preliminary. I think their paper's really cool. <laughs> you can come sit with me then, and we'll talk with CIC. So what, this is like 33 something, and this is gonna be 60. Six something. Six. Sixty-five is just a transfer fee. Then that's, that's another thirty thousand yearly. Fee is the sixty-five. Yeah, the, the three. So it, it is going to be a little bit more because we're not going to be able to get rid of everything CIC. But that the CIC quote will, CIC bill will come down drastically because we are transferring a majority of it to Tyler. So it's going to be a little bit more next year for us. And they're planning on going up in what you said. Yes. Yes. Well, they're going to have to. They're, they're going to have to. New, new equipment. They're so outdated. Right. Because well, they're still running on servers that are 2,000. And that's why we're having all these glitches, and that's why we're having all these support calls, is because they're they're not. Their servers are still Yeah. That's a lot of money. <laughs> right. So I'm happy that we have these Tyler numbers for the tax portion so that we can plan for it next year. Um Put some money aside. I don't know how, how you guys want to do it or whatever, but I think it's. So is all this going to come out of like general, or is it going to come out of department? Is right now it's coming out of general. Yeah. What we're doing with CIC. Yeah. So it's just something that it doesn't come out of computers or software no, or because we took it out of. Okay. So does no, reach it also, get? It's unbudgeted. Right. Took us, oh, okay. Took us 22 years to recoup that 65 for the price difference. Yeah. So. <laughs> it's, I think it's going to be. You're still going to have some stuff even if we, you move everything next year, the tax mm -hmm. stuff, because Genie's doesn't want to go over It'll to, just be Genie. Yeah, it'll just be Genie. That'll be on CIC. CIC, she doesn't so. want to change. So. What is the what's the CIC bill going to be if she's on CIC and we've got everybody else on time? Uh, or do you get that figured out? And just missed it? You must keep in mind that the reason she wants to stay on CIC is because if she changes, she has to she has to transfer all of those records in the registry. Oh, like they just office. did too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. Right, and it's it's not going to be an issue as far as continuity or how how the workflow goes if she stays on CIC and we all transfer over to Tyler it it'll taxes will run it'll it'll all work um, so it makes sense for her to stay on CIC but my question is this is how much are we going to pay on top of the the yearly fee here we're going to be paying CIC how much for her to stay on there because um, if, if it's four or five thousand dollars it's I doubt it's going to be that cheap if we've been paying them 33,000. I guess that's my question is if if we can't do the switch completely, right. we're kind of And I was looking back to see what the setup fee was for CIC. I couldn't find it. But in 2000 like numbers. Well, 15 I can reach out to We were paying $32,000 to CIC. So they have not raised, so you know right. it's going to Oh, yeah. Oh, it, it, well, that's, that's and inevitable. But. There's a couple of counties that just switched from an old system to CIC within this last calendar year, so I can see what they paid for their setup to see if it's comparable for their conversion what they CIC charged for. Their, oh, fantastic. Well, anyway, I, this is just an FYI deal, correct? Right. One? Yeah, I'd like to know what we're going to end up and paying. And see, on, on the CIC bill, it has everything else broke down, except I can't find um, register of deeds. Like, I can see budgetary, I can see minute taker, I can see the appraiser, but I can't, and the tax program. I can't see the specific line item for register of deeds. So I, I wish I could answer that for you. I wish this would break it out. Yeah. So. A lot of research. Yeah. I know it's tough. Thank you. And I have, in June at my treasurer's conference is generally there when they have software companies come and talk to us. So, if, I mean, I'll keep it on the, my radar to look for something else as far as the tax program is concerned, um, to see if there's something else out there. But. Right now, this and there's is other counties that are 
switching doing tax with CIC still, but switching all the other two Tyler Tyler's. So it'll work. Yeah. So are you needing a decision today? Are you going to do something? Or I think we need I more numbers. I think we'll numbers. come back to the next meeting and uh, with the register of deeds numbers for CIC deeds numbers and you know because oh. if if CIC I mean if we're still paying them a obscene amount of money. Can't be. Well, I'm just saying, we need to know. Right. Yeah, no, I, I get for your guys' decision process. Well, to be complete, right. go ahead and, and get a quote for what it would be to transfer <coughs> the register of these to Tyler. To oh, Tyler. Yeah. yeah, he's good. That's going to open your eyes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because then you're paying the five or six thousand a year to keep it versus the what it would cost one hundred and eighty or whatever to transfer it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that would be a, a good number to. Okay. I'm just as many times as CIC's I been an act, I'm surprised it hasn't happened. Yet. Well, and like just with me with with the software glitches that are happening right now, that I can't I can't do my and I've got stuff. an individual that has been here a couple of years, over 10 years, and from in the Road and Bridge Department, and he has been set to the eight hours a month that he gets for sick leave. This last payroll... It switched. It switched to four. Yeah. It, it just and, randomly does whatever it wants. It yeah, is, and it's like that guy's been set that way for two years. Yeah. But they're on the phone for me to help me with my support call from three weeks ago. So I'm going to go and take the phone call. If you want to come with me, you can. Right. <laughs> you like them so much. Okay, we'll get numbers and we'll come back come next in, time. Okay, okay. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Don. I'm going to let you guys be able to think about it. Too. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's not going to be easy, but it's something. Is like Rod Young out there? I didn't see him when I came in. But if he's not, I'll stop on the way back home. All right. Yeah, just tell him just that he needs him to, to get all the Clayton and visit with them. Yeah, okay. get all the Clayton, Janicky, and, and get on their board. Okay, Maybe. because yeah, you know, need to work it out between the two of them. What yeah. they yeah. want to do. So, yeah, all right. That we, brick we building, have no we're going to have the airport that. commission decide what they want. All of part of it. I think. When I talked to Clayton this morning. They have to move their meeting. Diane cannot come the twenty second. Oh, okay. So. Clayton said just email her and whenever she can come out so we can do the engineering. They have to re-sign Ms. Olson's to be our engineer for the airport. Okay. It's been over five years per FAA standards. Just kind of set everything up so Clayton can do all the, the stuff with her so I'm not since he's the chairman. Okay. Well, I think, did we have anything else? I think so. How's that building coming? Got the doors in and everything? Doors in, still kitchen mice. I was going to ask that. <laughs> Is the van parking in there now? No, nope. I'm not going in there until we get the mouse. Why don't, you, why don't you go ahead and have, like that, Anarchy come out? Okay. You used to have come have, Are you setting anything outside? I have nothing outside, but I have uh, the track he tells He tells everybody. You're going to catch them outside. They need water just like everybody else. So they go out. Instead of trying to find the hole where they're coming in, you just catch them before they come in. And you put them around the outside of the building, those boxes, and you'll clean that up. Some, Ty and Amber were having a heck of a mess. I've got a heck of a mess. And so it's been that old here. boy come out and said that. He said those no, mice go out every so, day outside of the water. Oh, no. So who is it? Is it Henneke? Pest control? Pesky. Is it? No, not. I'm thinking pesky. For it's H-I-E or E-I-S. Heineke. 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 Yeah. Heineke. Heineke. We, I'll see it. They're in town. H-E-I-N-K-E. They, they do the emergency building, I know. Yes. We, we use somebody like that at the treasure grounds, and they're on the outside of the building. They're on the outside. He said, instead of trying to find out how they're getting in, he said, they go out. They have to have water. No. Yeah. It makes sense. They can't find water in a house. This is yours. They find water outside, they find feed inside. Is that how you spell it? Okay. 
I've got the box. I don't know. It's white drink with the red lettering. Asterisk. Okay. I'm dying. I can't believe how. I'm the first month was expensive. Was it? I mean, then after that. Hinkle. Hinkle? Hinkle. Is Hinkle. it Hinkle? Okay. H-I-N-K-L-E. Thank you. That may be, is he out of Colby? Close, yeah. Okay, Colby. I've had him do stuff too. Something. Well, we have bills here from the, up at the, right. He does pest control. Yeah, it's pest control. Mm -hmm. So, you ready? Yep. Okay, I'll make a motion to <laughs> <laughs> adjourn. All right. Oh, you what? He doesn't. No. He's not ready. Okay. Can I have five minutes executive session for non-elected personnel? No way. That all filled out. <laughs> it's all done. <laughs> okay. We'll just close, close the meeting and we'll talk. <laughs> you want to well, let me shut the tape off first. <laughs> it's been moved and seconded for like five minutes the, executive session. I like the so I can put zero. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Okay. <laughs> Four how long? Five minutes. Right. Not elected personnel. I run out of shit, so I... I'm running out of room in my room.